Bonjour à tous et bienvenue pour un nouvel épisode. Aujourd'hui on va s'attaquer à un métal. Euh... Ouais. Donc euh... Un métal, euh... jeu qui s'inspire de. Voilà. Jeu qui s'inspire de de Metal Gear euh, sur MSX et sur euh, NES euh... donc Metal Gear 1, Metal Gear 2 et euh... ouais bah tout de suite on va on va se lancer Once upon a time, a Soviet war helicopter entered Allied territory. The aircraft was intercepted and shot down. As the pilot emerged from the wreckage, he was arrested by the same bastards who shot him down, and later was brought to a military base for interrogation. That pilot was me. Name? My name is Fox. Jesse Fox. You don't seem to be Russian. Russian? Me? You were piloting a Russian aircraft two hours ago. I also drive a Toyota, and I'm not Japanese. All right, Mr. Fox. Before arresting you, I'm obligated to write down a report with your version of the facts. So tell us what the hell you were doing in that heavily armed Soviet helicopter. It's... a long story. Sergeant, bring us some coffee. Yes, sir. Wachowski, bring the lieutenant some coffee. Yes, sir. Well, Mr. Fox, we have plenty of time. Explain what happened. In 1972, a crack commando unit threw me in a prison for a crime I didn't commit. You're under arrest for a crime you didn't commit! I promptly escaped from a maximum security stockade to the underground, trying to survive from these soldiers of fortune. Salut à tous ceux qui arrivent. Let's start from the beginning. How did you escape from that cell? Piece of cake. I just had to write a note. A note? Where'd you get the paper from? I used toilet paper. I see. And how did you find a pen? A pen? I was in a dirty, grimy cell, not in an office. I wrote the note with a rusty wire. Using my own blood as ink. I scratched my arm with the wire and got to work. It wasn't easy. The toilet paper tore under the pressure of the bloody wire. Those Bastards gave us cheap paper, one ply, unscented, and unpatterned. Why did you break the toilet? Why not grab the paper like a normal person? You know how prison is. It's kill or be killed. And I wasn't going to be killed by some dirty toilet. Hey, you moron! Holy Jesus! You schmuck, do you really think I'd be stupid enough to kill myself? Kill myself? Ugh. I left the guard locked in the cell. Then I threw away the key and got out of there. Mr. Fox, what about the noose? Where did you get that from? Where did I get the noose? Are you seriously asking me that? I am, Mr. Fox. I'll tell you later. When leaving the cell, 
I found myself in a prison yard surrounded by some buildings. There were piles of boxes and other stuff here and there. And the ground was plain dirt. Oh, and it was night. Donc c'est parti Est-ce que si je tape dessus Non. Je peux pas courir. That box contained some filthy cloth scraps. I made some handy bandages to prepare for when I would get wounded. Bad news, dirty cloth rags don't heal you. They just stop the bleeding, and I ain't got time to bleed. Good news, I could reuse these rags as much as I wanted. Good dirty cloth is hard to come by. Oh, no. I thought everyone would be asleep at night. That it was safe to escape. I was dead wrong. I noticed the presence of... Euh... Un ou deux dans le chat. <rire> ok, euh, personne se manifeste. Alors, un. One guard on the night shift. Si vous êtes détecté par un garde, il ne vous accordera aucune expérience. Quoi Il ne vous accordera aucune expérience lorsque vous le neutralisez. Neutraliserez. Ah merde, j'ai pas vu qu'ils étaient retournés mais c'est bon. Allez. Ah, ça, ça, je peux le pousser, donc. Attends, on va revenir en arrière, parce que je crois qu'il y a une, une caisse pareille. Non Moi, j'ai mal vu, mais... J'ai cru voir une caisse. Là. Y a rien. Non. Allez, 
Allez, on est reparti. Dissimu, hein, dissimu, les gars, discret, discret. Je vais faire plus attention. Là, il y a une, il y a une porte. Des toilettes. Utiliser les toilettes pour sauvegarder la partie. Ah. Pas mal, pas mal. Oups. Hey, over here. Hello? You talking to me? Affirmative. My name is Colonel Alan Harris, 5th Battalion. I'm Jesse Fox. Right? I'm not military, Colonel. Then tell me, Fox, what the hell are you doing here? I've been jailed for a crime I didn't commit. Do you know how to get out of here? Try to escape through any sewer. There must be one nearby, cause it stinks when it's hot. Once outside, move along at night time and sleep during the day. What about you, Colonel? I've been tortured. My legs won't make it. But if you bring me a radio, I can help you escape. Hold on, Harris, are you sure you heard him say Alan Harris? Yes, sir. Saw him yesterday. Look, Mr. Fox, Colonel Harris died a month ago in an ambush. Well, it's the name that stubborn old man gave me. I see. I'll write down on the report that you talked to Colonel Harris after his death. Continue <laughs> your story. As I was saying, I searched for a radio to bring him. Faut trouver une radio. Et pourquoi ils me disent toujours appuyer sur un pour ouvrir l'inventaire pour votre Ah d'accord. Under some crates, I found my salvation. A sewer hole. There was no ladder and I couldn't see the bottom. I needed to find a ladder or rope if I wanted to go down. Ah, j'ai trouvé la bouche d'égout. Pour pouvoir se casser. Euh... Ah non. Je voulais pas que je fasse ça. Je pense pas grave. Si vous êtes près du bord de l'écran, des flèches rouges peuvent apparaître. Ces flèches indiquent qu'il y a un ennemi sur l'écran suivant. La flèche pointe vers l'endroit auquel il fait face et devient plus grosse à mesure qu'il se rapproche. D'accord. Donc les deux, les deux qu'on voit en bas de l'écran là, ça veut dire qu'il y a deux. Mais il ne se voit pas. Took a coin off the guard. Money? What'd you intend to spend it on? I suspect there's no shops open for an escapee on a midnight run. Who said anything about spending? I used it to distract soldiers. I quickly found out that guards love picking up free coins off the ground. Ah. Faut que je, il faut que je mette la pièce. Faut que je fasse. Hey, a coin. Je me cache. Et je lui sa mère. I picked up the guard's radio. Without encryption, I knew other guards could listen in on my conversations with Harris. I see. You still haven't told me how you got that news. I'll tell you later. As I was saying, I needed to find a special encryption circuit to install in the radio. C'est quoi le jeu Artefact du mode dieu. Accord d'une invulnérabilité invul invul limitée lorsqu'un anneau est sacrifié. D'accord. Euh... Ah Euh... Ouais. I had the circuit. I just had to attach it to the radio. Alors. Combiner. 
à la radio. Maintenant, j'ai une radio cryptée. With the modified radio, I could speak to Harris with no one listening. Now, I just had to bring it to him. And the noose? Later. Et je vais rapporter la radio. Colonel. Colonel. Here you are, Colonel. A radio. I've modified it to encrypt the signal. Oh, good job, son. Do you have another one for you? Not yet. I'll call you through channel one as soon as I find another. Good luck, son. And Godspeed. Ok. Maintenant, si je repète la gueule à un, à un garde et je trouve une radio. Ouh là! Ah! On peut porter les gardes. C'est cool en fait. Ouais, ça évite de les laisser dans le chemin, d'accord. J'avais pas vu ça. Oula, grosse flèche. Attendez. Il remonte. Ouais. Du coup, je l'ai pris avec moi. Avec ses copains. Tu sais quand ils vont se réveiller. Euh... Cool. With the radio encrypted, I could talk to Harris. I wouldn't have been able to escape without his help. I hate to admit it, but the grumpy old man gave some good advice. Appuyez sur LT. Ça c'est moi. Colonel, do you copy? Copy. Sewer found. I'm looking for a rope or something to go down. There must be some around. Search thoroughly. Oh super. Euh... Aïe, j'ai un peu mal à mon dos. Super les. Was injured and losing blood. I had quoi. to heal that wound before I bled to death. Il faut que je me mette ça. Merde. You stole a one-eyed man's patch. A one-eyed man that would shoot me without hesitation. 
Because it was his job. What you did was macabre and suggest you might have a fetish. Holy Jesus. Well, that patch turned out to be handy to create a lethal weapon. Je lui ai piqué son cache-feuille. Non, je suis pas encore fouillé. Et je lui ai piqué son œil. You removed his glass eye too? Yes, I took it out because it was suspicious. What was suspicious? Why did a one-eyed man have a glass eye under an eye patch? He'd be using a patch or an eye, but not both. Maybe the eye was some sort of secret device. I kept it just in case. Des toilettes On va l'enfermer. Est-ce que je peux l'enfermer dans des toilettes Hey buddy I have no paper. Can you bring me some Here you are. Thanks, man. You saved my ass, literally. What the fuck? What sort of paper is this? It's only one ply, unscented and unpatterned. <laughs> it's the kind the prisoners use. Fuck, that's why their hands stink so much. By the way, who are you? I don't recognize your voice. I'm Lieutenant Marcus Stevenson. Lieutenant, you say? Sir, I apologize for my manners. I did not know your rank, sir. Relax and clean up your rear guard well. Sir, yes, sir. Bon, euh... finalement, je vais le remettre dans son coin. On verra bien. Ah, j'ai perdu, ouais, j'ai perdu un peu d'HP. Oula. la gueule à tout le monde Qu'est-ce que c'est ici I ran into a guard as I went in Ah merde Il, do il dormait, il dormait, il dormait Luckily, the guy was sleeping That bastard was going to have a rude awakening ces trucs là que je récupère des billes d'uranium appauvri du métal dur et résistant ah est-ce que je peux faire ça the lethal weapon you created with the patch was a slingshot sort of childish don't you think what were you gonna shoot pebbles Depleted uranium balls. Three shots and goodbye guard. Psst. Do you want a cigarette? 
Euh... Non. Non, j'en ai pas des cigarettes. Non. J'ai pas de cigarettes. With those first aid kits, I could disinfect and heal my wounds. Good news, those kits stopped any bleeding and also healed my wounds over time. Bad news, once you used them, they were gone. Aha! Uh -huh. Hey! I heard something. Ah bah, j'ai chopé des clopes. Je vais aller lui filer son... Je vais lui filer ses clopes. Psss. Ouais, j'en ai... Thanks, dude. Hey, do you have a light? Du feu Est-ce que j'ai du feu Non. 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 Hey, give me my lighter back. What lighter? You bastard. Screw yourself in that cell. J'ai récupéré un mégot de cigarette. Attends, je peux réveiller les. Stop it! Je peux faire chier les, les mecs qui dorment. D'accord. Hein On peut passer par là C'est quoi ça Vite, camouflage. Discret, discret. Voilà. Il me faut une clé. Hey, bro. Help me. Get me out of this hole. If you're in a cell. It's because you committed a crime. <laughs> and I don't free criminals. But you're a prisoner too. I've been imprisoned for a crime I didn't commit. Fuck you. Hello. Hey friend, I'm also innocent. That's what they all say. Please, they keep the key <laughs> in that box. Dude. Oh, what a pity. The key bro. <laughs> you <laughs> bastard! Hasta la vista. Oh, it's not a ball. It's not a ball for him. Wow! There are two guards. Hey, Mike, can you tell them again? Of course. The Sarge says to the soldier, Someone sent you a blank letter. The soldier says, It's from my wife, Sergeant. How do you know that, soldier? Because we argued and we don't talk to each other. <laughs> the soldier says to his captain, Sir, I need to request leave for this weekend. Why do you need it, Private? I'm going to have a baby, sir. Congratulations. Request granted. Next week, the captain asks him, Private, was it a boy or a girl? And the soldier replies, 
I don't know, sir. I'll find out in nine months. <laughs> oh, putain, il faut des blagues comme ça. Ils sont... What's in your closet, private? It's water, sir. Don't lie to me. This is wine. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hurt some. Qu'est-ce qui se passe? Point d'acier. Double frappe sur l'ennemi et les caisses, ouais. Ou sprint. Euh, votre vitesse augmente de 10%, 35% si aucun ennemi n'est présent dans la salle. Non, on va prendre le, la baston. Hey Mike! Can you tell them again? Of course. The Sarge says to the soldier, Someone sent you a blank letter. The soldier says, A cachet de corps. Chambre vide, je sais pas à quoi ça sert, mais. Be quiet! <rire> I reached a special place where I found something. Ah. What, Mr. Fox? It was. What was it? Damn, I can't remember. Il se souvient plus. Alors attendez. Ok, bah les, les pots de champ. Euh... Effectue une sauvegarde rapide. Votre père ne sera perdu. Ah, d'accord. C'est pour faire des sauvegardes rapides. Euh. The soldier says to his captain, Sir, I need to request leave for this weekend. Why do you need it, Private? I'm gonna have a baby, sir. Congratulations, request granted. Next week, the captain asks him, Comment je fais? Private, was it a boy or a girl? And the soldier replies, I don't know, sir. Oh. Mais non, je me suis gouré. Prisoner. Ah, je me suis gouré. Je voulais envoyer la pièce. Euh, chargé du... Euh, non. Continuer. Je voulais envoyer la pièce. The soldier says to his captain, Sir, I need to request leave for this weekend. Pour voir ce qu'ils vont faire. Hey, a coin. You're not going to pick it up, right? Yeah, why not? Come on, Mike, it's the oldest trick ever. As soon as you crouch down, smack! Smack what? The owner will show up and kick your ass. The Sarge says to the soldier, Someone sent you a blank letter. Ah, the soldier says, It's from my wife, Sergeant. How do you know that, soldier? Because we argued and we don't talk to each other. Comment je fais? Ah, d'accord, j'ai vu. The soldier says to his captain, je... Sir, faut je passe I need to request leave for this weekend. Why do you need it, Private? I'm going to have a baby, sir. Congratulations, request granted. Next week, the captain rigole, asks ferme les yeux. Private, was it a boy or a girl? And the soldier replies, I don't know, sir. I'll find out in nine months. <coughs> oh, je suis Des lunettes de soleil. Si tu veux. J'ai trouvé ma corps. Par contre, attendez, je crois que j'ai un petit souci, je regarde vite fait un truc. Non, c'est bon, c'est bon. Ah. 
Colonel, do you read me? Loud and clear, Fox. I found a rope to go down the sewer. And you're not down yet? What the hell are you waiting for? I'm on it, Colonel. I got ready to use the rope to go down, but I couldn't find anywhere to tie it. I needed a hook or something to anchor it to the edge of the hole. I mean, they found a crochet. Oh yeah, now I remember. It was that damn grenade guy. I wanted to punch the hell out of him, but I couldn't reach him. Why couldn't you reach him? There was a ditch. A simple ditch stopped you? This was no mere simple ditch. It was full of tentacles and blood-stained spears that moved up and down and bony arms that tried to grab me no, and man. deadly lays okay okay mr fox i get it you couldn't reach him for your own good i'll not include the spears arms and tentacles in my report now mr fox please continue your story all right the fight began as he tossed the first grenade at me Wow, je vais affronter Grunetti. Non, et je vais rouler. Il va exploser là. Attends, je vais faire ça déjà. Oh yeah, now I Ouais, c'est bon. Euh, on l'a eu. Running away. I'll be stupid, but not a coward. Il est bon hein, parce que le avec les, les trucs ça le touche pas fort. Oh yeah. Boss defeated. I searched the grenade guy. Wait, wasn't there a ditch? I used the bridge. What bridge? But you told me you couldn't cross the ditch. Because I didn't see it at first. I was completely focused on my opponent, the grenade guy. I see. <laughs> C'est bon. Maintenant, je peux faire combiner avec la corde. Et j'ai un guapin. Une guapine. I couldn't see the bottom of that hole, but I anchored the rope and I went down. Yeah! On l'a fait, messieurs dames! Ah, il y avait un secret? Je l'ai pas eu. Bon. 
Je savais même pas qu'il y avait un secret. Ah non, les égouts, j'aime pas les égouts. I anchored the rope and went down into the pitch darkness. Finally, I touched ground. I was in a sewer composed of narrow passages. There were channels of rotten water and narrow sidewalks. And the typical pipes and waste everywhere. It smelled like shit. The putrid air was barely breathable. But once my lungs got used to that stench, I started to investigate my surroundings. First off, I had to check the depth of the water. Dip the severed arm in the water to calculate the depth. As soon as I did, it started shaking. When I pulled it back out, there was nothing but <laughs> bones. I couldn't explain what I saw, but my instincts told me this water might be dangerous. Oh, well, we I'm not gonna lie. I had trouble getting where I needed to go. In fact, I had to build a floating platform to get through. Worse yet, Everything down there was out for my blood. Dans l'inventaire, orienter le joystick droit. Les objets pour créer un raccourci. Orienter le joystick d'euro plus tard en jeu pour sélectionner directement l'objet. Sergeant Roscoe here. What? Escaped? How? Through the sewers? Shit! Oh no, don't send anyone. If he hides like a rat, he will die like a rat. Switch on the shredders! Okay, super. Shredders. That asshole Roscoe ordered to have them activated. Later they would be a pain in my ass, but they'd end up saving it too. Hold on, Mr. Fox. <laughs> what exactly did you say attacked you? What you just heard. Some sort of hybrid between piranha and human. A human piranha attacked you? I see. And in your opinion, could you elaborate how this hybrid could exist? That question kept gnawing at the back of my brain the entire day. I dwelled on it over and over again. And after seeing everything I saw on that base, their facilities, their experiments, their labs, I reached the only logical explanation. And what was that, Mr. Fox? A creepy scientist must have wanted to create a child of his own. But realizing he accidentally used piranha DNA, he deemed the child a monster. He held it up, looked deep into its fishy, loving eyes, and flushed it down the toilet with no care for its feelings. Holy Jesus. When the piranha ended up in the sewers, it started multiplying and shared its story of betrayal to all of its new piranha offspring. The same ones that attacked me. <laughs> oh, le mec, il est pas crédible une seconde.
Sun, do you copy? Copy, Colonel. I've been trying to contact you. There was no signal down in the sewers. Have you already escaped? Where are you now? Not much progress. I should still be near the prisons. Are you kidding me, Fox? You're still too damn close. You need to travel farther before coming topside. I know, but there are sewer channels blocking my way. Then build something to cross them, Fox. Find some materials. Where are you exactly? I think I'm in the office of some sort of officer. You should search for classified files about Operation Jericho. Take them with you. They're up to something. I don't know what. We must find out. Oh, no. Before leaving the office, I called Harris to let him know that I found the files. Colonel, do you copy? Copy. I found some documents. Operation Jericho. Looks like it talks about... an attack plan? Attack? Against what, son? I have no idea. It's encoded. I'll keep searching for more documents, Colonel. Operation Jericho is a rumor only known by a few officers and, of course, the enemy. How did you find out about it, Mr. Fox? As I told you, Colonel Harris asked me to search for files about it. The deceased Colonel Harris? Yes. I had the feeling that this officer didn't believe anything I was saying. <laughs> it's understandable. I don't believe you either. Oh, really? Well, Miss Incredulous, why ask me to tell you the story? Well, I like the way you tell it. And since there are no theaters here. Great. So, what was Operation Jericho? It turns out that location was actually a clandestine base, with a company codenamed X-Army, commanded by someone named General X. They were planning a large-scale attack against Allied posts. And that plan was? Be patient. That comes later. Hey! Don't be like that! Come on, tell me! The officer that was taking my statement was also curious about what I knew. And what exactly do you know about Operation Jericho, Mr. Fox? That it was a hell of an operation. Harris and I knew the details thanks to the files we found. Correction, I found. Again, how much did you exactly find out? Let me continue. You'll find out later. Mais il part dans des délires. Ah, il faut une carte, comme par hasard. Donc, euh... combiner bidon en plastique avec. I considered floating the drums on the water and walking across, but they weren't very stable. I considered floating the drums on the water and walking across, but they weren't very stable.
lui il a pas l'air d'avoir de porte mais comment je peux faire pour, euh, pour passer par ici Merde Je suis bloqué J'ai l'impression d'être bloqué Je sais, on voit rien, mais c'est normal. Je, je teste quelque chose. Non. Ok. à faire ici mais je sais pas quoi.
pense que c'est ça. Il faut que j'arrive à rentrer ici, je lui défonce la, je lui pète la gueule et puis je, je récupère une carte qui va me permettre de passer de l'autre côté. Mais euh, je le refais, hein, mais euh, je vois pas comment je peux passer. Lui, il vient pas. Il a pas l'air d'avoir de porte pour aller jusqu'à lui. Je suis caché derrière le. The first file was about an attack plan. Its code name was Operation Jericho. I couldn't find many details because it was encoded. But anyone could understand a chart about casualties. Its lines went all the way to the top. Ouais, non, ils sont fous. Ah la montre, c'est pour voir en bas à gauche il y a du temps. Enfin c'est l'heure en fait, il est 4h19. Mais euh, non je vois pas comment je peux faire pour... Euh... C'est super ce je suis bloqué. I considered floating the drums on the water and walking across, but they weren't very stable. I considered floating the drums on the water and walking across, but they weren't very stable. I considered floating the drums on the water and walking across, but they weren't very stable. I considered floating the drums on the water and walking across. Parce que il me faut la carte. Il n'y a pas de... Non, il n'y a pas l'air d'avoir de pièces cachées. C'est que le, le... Comment on appelle ça C'est que le deuxième, mo le, le deuxième monde et je suis déjà bloqué. 
Là, je peux pas. Jesse here. Over. Shit, there's no signal down here. Attends, je vais, je vais appeler le colonel. Colonel, do you read me? Loud and clear, Fox. How are you captured? We were heading to Cantor, a neutral zone, when we were ambushed. No one else survived. I doubt anyone back at base expects me to be alive either. Jesse here, over. Jesse here, over. Euh... Non, il m'aide pas. Fox here, over. What is it, Fox? Non, il m'aide pas. Euh... J'ai rien dans mon inventaire. Hein. J'ai quatre bidons. Et ce qui me fait chier, c'est que... J'ai pas, il me faut un truc, une corde, un truc pour, euh, pour attacher tout ça. Là, c'était le bras. Je peux pas l'appeler. Y'a 
pas de truc caché. Non. Couldn't use the radio at that time. Putain, y a des trucs à péter. Y a une caisse en bas, une, deux, trois caisses. Y a une sorte de caisse au milieu. Y a des fous que je, je puisse passer, mais comment? Ah! Fallait que je glisse en dessous. Putain, je suis, un, je suis con. Huh, did I just hear a rat? Get out from your hole, you cowardly vermin! Look what the cat dragged in. The escaped prisoner. We've got some big balls coming here, rodent. The situation was foobar. He was armed and hunkered down behind his desk. I was screwed. So what did you do? In five nanoseconds, I scrutinized the room and noticed a very subtle detail. There is a large globe in the middle of the room. I already had what I needed to take him down. Ça y est, ouais, j'ai compris. Désolé pour euh, tout ce... Cette perte de temps. Je ne savais... Je, je, je savais pas qu'il y avait de façon Me off. Quoi Ah oui, ça me remet pas du soin tout de suite. Ça remet petit à petit, j'avais oublié. Mais c'est bon, j'ai compris. C'est parti, allez mes amis. me off. Boss defeated. Oh, 
mettre du... du soin. Euh non. On le fouille, on a la carte. carte As I proceeded down the sewer sidewalk, I noticed a path nearby I couldn't reach. Why not? It was across the sewer water. What was the distance to the other side? <laughs> Allez, on exagère. Around 10 yards. Hold on, weren't those channels narrow? You're contradicting yourself, Mr. Fox. That's because the sewer fumes were psychotropic and messing with my senses. I see. I realized I needed something to cross to the other side. I considered floating the drums on the water and walking. Okay. On revient dans l'autre. Une base. Heading east, I ran into a hound. A puppy. You didn't hurt it, did you? A puppy? That monster was the size of a horse. Even so, I wanted to see if it was friendly. Puppy, puppy, are you a good boy? But that hound was trained to kill. Its bloody eyes looked at me like I was a well-done steak. No, let's go tranquille. Et WC. Je vais pouvoir sauvegarder ce gars. Hop. Who's there? Damn cat. Who's there? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Damn T Rexes. <laughs> Hold on. What is this thing? <laughs> Base escaping prison. <laughs> Oh no! But I have the car, I have the T-Rex! Who's there? Meow! Damn cat! <laughs> Putain de chat! Who's there? Uh. Mike? It's Mike! Fuck, Mike, you scared me! I'm sorry! Everything okay? Yeah, everything's okay! Ah, trop fort, j'aurais pu faire le chat, c'est vrai. Continue, messieurs dames. 
Oui, j'aurais pu faire mien. Heading south, I ran into a couple of trucks. That was my big chance to escape. But first, I had to get rid of the guards. Faut que je me débarrasse des gardes. Once the guards were history, I examined the engine. Hey, a coin. I heard something. Mike. Ah, c'était Mike. Level three. La santé se se rétablit deux fois plus vite. Guérison, bandage et kit de premier secours sont deux fois plus rapides. Is this? Que vais-je bien pouvoir faire de cette essence De la viande Ah, c'est bien ça. Je, je vais pouvoir donner la viande au chien. Tout se regroupe. Mr. Fox, I'm still waiting on an explanation for the noose. Later, officer. <laughs> Ah merde, non, c'était en bas, qu'est-ce que j'ai dit Oh non, je dois recommencer là. J'ai pas vu, je vais me jeter. Heading south, I ran into a couple of trucks. That was my big chance to escape. But first, I had to get rid of the guards.
Once the guards were history, I examined the engine. Ah, j'ai examiné le moteur. I took a glance and my worst fears came true. It was an old diesel engine with no ad blue or particulate filter. What does that mean? Running away in that truck would have polluted the area with nitrogen oxides and microparticles. And I wasn't willing to sacrifice the environment for a hasty retreat. So I armed myself with patience, and I kept searching for another way to escape. Well, Jesse, I didn't know you were so eco-friendly. Well, it's nothing, really. <laughs> D'accord. Donc là, euh... C'était niqué. Donc de l'autre côté, on va aller chercher euh, du paquet de l'essence. Base, escaping prisoner, send back up. J'ai voulu jeter ma pièce et, et j'ai fait une roulade. Comment t'as fait pour me... Comment il a fait pour me voir Hey A coin Ah, il l'a vu d'ici. Je ne sais pas si je suis l'héritier de... de Snake, mais on verra bien. Allez, 
Apparemment, les steaks, on en a illimité. Donc, je le balance. Mr. Fox, I'm still waiting on an explanation for the noose. Later, officer. Je le balance et je me casse. <rire> There's a guard looking here. If you move, he'll see you. Tell me when he's not looking. That bastard won't move. He's over here all the time. Fuck! Hold on. I have an idea. Yo, Mike! 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 Shut up! I got pictures of your mom naked in the bathtub. <laughs> Wanna buy him? Real cheap. You bastard! I'm done with his shit. Just go shoot that bastard. I'm already on my way. Burn in it. Nice. Thanks for the help. Thank you for knocking out that dick. By the way, name's Jesse Fox. I'm Mike. Hold on. Don't tell me the prisoner was also named Mike. Uh, no. Hold on. It wasn't Mike. I'm Robert. Let's see if I can get you out of here, Robert. Thanks, Fox, but no. If you escape, they'll shoot you. And I'd rather be jailed than buried. You don't have a radio, do you? Hold on. I'll get one for you. Base, escaping prisoner. Ah, oh, j'ai fait le con. J'ai fait le con, je me suis précipité, je me suis précipité. Chose qu'il faut pas faire, il faut pas se précipiter. Ah oh non, je dois refaire tout. Hey, a coin. Eh, hey, une pièce. Ça tombe bien, j'en avais pas. Allez. On le met avec son copain. On met la viande, on se casse. Mr. Fox, I'm still waiting on an explanation for the noose. Late. Et il m'embête avec sa corde. Hold on, don't tell me the prisoner was on. Oui, c'est Robert. On finit de.
plateforme en bois. Ah bah voilà. Je sais que ça sert à rien mais j'ai juste planté Mike. Voilà. Allez, je file la radio au Robert et je descends. Oups. Hey Robert, did you get that radio? Yeah, here you go. Thanks Fox, I'll call you if I find out anything. If you want to talk, use channel 2. Ok, now get out of here before the guards show up. Il y a quelque chose, je vais les voir derrière. Nothing useful. Ok, on peut ouvrir ça. Ok, on peut ouvrir les conteneurs. Ah, faut que je remets de la viande. You don't look like a military man. Of course not. I'm a photographer. Hold on. You're not a paparazzi, are you? <laughs> That's right. A paparazzi. And one of the worst kind, too. Damn, Robert, you must have fucked up royally to end up locked in here. I've seen things I wasn't meant to, Fox. C'est tout. Ça m'aide pas beaucoup. Ah non. Et voilà. After making the platform, I had what I needed to cross the sewer channels to freedom. Hold on, Mr. Fox. The platform just vanished. What? Of course not. I picked it up every time I got to the other side. You didn't mention that. Sounded like it vanished. Well, I didn't feel like I had to mention something so obvious. Then should I write down that you picked up the platform every time you used it? Yes, of course. Well, Mr. Fox, please continue with your story. D'accord, j'ai cru qu'elle avait fondu, mais non, à chaque fois, il va la récupérer. Le salaud euh... Voilà, faut que j'arrête le sang. On va se mettre une trousse. Bouteille vide. un petit peu bête c'est possible que... Mr. Fox the noose Later. Don't try my patience, <rire> Mr. Fox. Il est relou lui avec sa... sa corde. Yeah. 
voyez. Oula, ça va être tendu. Oh oui. Oh le pipi. Oh le pipi qui fait plaisir. Mais oui, il aurait pu sortir peut-être. Ah d'accord. Il faut une carte jaune. Ah bah non en fait euh, je suis pas je suis pas appelez moi Pisquet sauf que je ne suis pas Pisquet By the way, how many rats were down there? None that I remember, but there were squirrels. <laughs> squirrels in a sewer? That's right. Turns out the bastards there don't like normal pets like cats or dogs. They go and buy exotic oh. pets. You know, squirrels. Eventually, their owners get bored of them and they're flushed down the toilet to drown and die. Oh no, but no, but no. one in 10,000 mutates and it survives. Then it multiplies. Soon, the sewers are completely infested with mutant killer squirrels. It was horrible. Felt like I was a giant acorn. Oh no! comme ça
Inside some debris, I found an old flamethrower. It was in bad condition, but I could fix it. The worst part was the fuel tank was savagely chewed apart. It couldn't be saved, so I set out to replace it. After the repairs, my flamethrower was ready. The tubes were covered in rust, so I took great care to avoid overheating it. Now we're going to play with a lance flan. la carte jaune. Je pourrais pas revenir en arrière. Ça aurait été la même merde, hein, que ce soit des rats ou des... pas de... J'ai pas de jauge Commence dans les chiottes. Super.
pas jouer du lance Je sais pas, ils auraient dû me donner euh... une mitraillette. Faut pas y aller, d'accord, oh, super. Soupa. Alors. Snake il avait pas affronté autant de danger là. been very lonely down there. Nah, I had some company. Quoi? C'est quoi ça? Swear... Quoi? C'est Weird Junk? C'est quoi ça? C'est quoi? C'est Weird Junk? C'est Weird Junk? And that thing had tentacles? Well, now that you mention oh, it. No, he left the two. It had two dozen tentacles. Two dozen de tentacles. Tentacules. 
You must have been very lonely down there. And that thing had tentacles? Well, now that you mention it... It had four pairs of tentacles. I nearly had that thing dead, but then my luck turned south. Oh no. The old flamethrower... ...broke apart as I continued the fight. So I finished it the old-fashioned way, with my fists. Ah, faut que je le fist. Je l'ai fisté. Boss defeated. Hop, petite rasade. Ah, donc maintenant j'ai plus besoin de... de casser les trucs. Euh... J'avais plus rien à faire en arrière. Oula Eh hey, ben, c'est compliqué. Mr. Fox, the gallows noose. Tell me how you got it. I'll tell you later. Enough! You've tried my patience, Mr. Fox. Tell me right now how you got that damn noose. Or I'll kick your ass and throw you in isolation. Okay, okay. No need for that. I was just about to tell you. Cheveux, intestin, brocoli... Euh... Des mesures Allez, des mesures. Using the rusty wire. I extracted a yard of my own intestine. <laughs> it was too soft, so I left it to dry. It was eventually tough enough to hold my weight. Turns out, having shorter intestines means you go to the toilet more frequently. Oh, Is no. that really how you got the news? Of course not. I lied to the officer. Why? Because no one threatens me to tell the truth. Then how did you really get the news? I'll tell you later. Pareil de secret. De toute façon, les portes, ils étaient fermées. Il fallait une carte jaune. J'avais pas la carte jaune. The light at the end of the tunnel was not the jungle I was hoping for. Instead, I found myself in what looked like an office with cabinets. Desks. And of course, a damn guard. Later, I'd realize that I was in one of the two main buildings of the military base. The building had three floors, hidden secrets, 
and a few unexpected surprises. Anyway, I headed towards the only exit, which was close to the first floor office I started in. Oh, no, me. Réfléchis trop. In the beginning, I didn't know exactly where I was, but I knew for sure I wasn't outside. Now that I could get a signal, calling the colonel crossed my mind, but I realized I didn't have much to report. Speak of the devil. Son, do you copy? Copy, colonel. For the love of God, where have you been? I thought you were dead. As I said, colonel, there's no signal in the sewers. Give me a sit rep, son. My report. After crossing a mile of smelly, mutant-infested shit streams, fighting thousands of rodents and nearly being torn apart by some shredders, I managed to get out of there and I'm still in this fucking military base. Don't lose your marbles, son. You have plenty of night time and they don't know your location. Take advantage of this and get the hell out of there. Just don't forget the documents. We need to find out more about Operation Jericho. If I make it out alive, will you write me a recommendation letter? If you make it out, we'll give you a damn purple cross. Over and out. I had no doubt that the colonel worked for the government. Why is that? <laughs> because the only thing that old bastard did was demand, demand, demand. On progresse, oula. Une menace. Viens par ici, mon mignon. Oh non. Si un endroit où je vais pas, c'est ici. <rire> Je vais y aller après. Mais ça sent le... Oh merde Allez, viens, petit, viens. Oh non Mon collègue est là. Enfer et damnation. I heard oh, une pièce. Ta gueule. There, right in front of me, was the sick bay. Walking through that door changed everything forever. Oula! Attends, déjà on va faire ça. Je vais en donner un à lui. Oh non, je vais lui donner. Hop! Pour ça, j'ai des, des vies en plus. C'est lui, c'est le prisonnier qui nous a frappé. It turned out that all the guards I knocked out were brought to the sick bay, and some were still there. Freeze! Don't move or I'll shoot. Okay, I surrender. 
The woman that was aiming at me was the doctor. She, of course, was very pissed off because of the copious amount of work I caused. What a face. What a body. What a beauty. This girl was smoking hot, and she had a gun aimed straight at my head. At that distance, I couldn't do anything to neutralize her. I had to improvise. I needed something that would cause a non-lethal wound, like a sharp piece of metal. But, I had to grab it without making a single step. De quoi Qu'est-ce que je dois faire <rire> Attends, j'ai... Ben, j'ai qu'à prendre ça. It wasn't wise to use weapons there. If I moved, the doctor would have shot me. I had to use anything I had on me that was sharp without moving a muscle. Tranchant sans bouger un muscle. Have you ever had a gun pointed at you? Your adrenaline skyrockets. You react on instinct. Everything happened so fast that the doctor had no time to react. In one swift movement, I took the wire, looked deep within the doctor's eyes, and... I stuck it in my thigh. What the hell did you just do? I just hurt myself. Are you nuts or what? Now you can't shoot me. What do you mean? You just made it easier for me. According to the degree on your wall, you're a doctor. Ah oui. The Hippocratic Oath you took as a doctor forces you to aid your patients and also forces you to cause patients no harm. I've been injured in a sick bay. You're sick bay. <laughs> Therefore, I'm now your patient. And I'm forced to assist you. You bastard! Yeah, been called that plenty of times. <laughs> By the way, I'm bleeding. Fine. I'll heal you. Then you get the hell out of here. You're done. It's no longer bleeding. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome. By the way... Oh, la tarte. Hey, what was that for? That's for all the extra hours. I'm working because of you. It's just as well that you didn't kill anyone. Kill someone? Me? Do I look like an assassin? After arguing for a while, the doctor and I reached an understanding. I would not kill anyone, and she would help me escape. You'll find my access card in my jacket. There are first aid kits in the closet. Take some. If you shoot someone, use them so they don't bleed to death. Doctor! It hurts. Don't speak, Mike. You have a broken jaw. Try to get some sleep. My rack! You couldn't just take the card from the pocket. It's kill or be killed. My sight's still fuzzy, Doctor. That's expected. You got hit pretty hard. But it looks like your eyes will recover. J'adore mort de rire. Ok, à plus, à plus tard. Au revoir à tous ceux qui sont bons. Ah, ma okay, j'ai les cartes rouges. Euh... Attends, je croyais que je devais tuer personne pour que j'ai un I finally had a gun. Now I could kill those guards. <laughs> that is, if I were an assassin <laughs> and didn't promise the doctor I wouldn't murder anyone. So if I shot someone, I had to use a first aid kit to heal them before they bled to death. So you really didn't kill anyone? Of course not. I'm not an assassin. 
The gun I found was empty, but it had a 10 bullet magazine. So, I loaded it up with any bullets I found. Fox, do you copy? I copy you, Robert. Hi, friend. How's that escape going? Still alive and free. So far. Hey, how did they catch you? I was in the outskirts of Katsala, taking some pictures of a bunch of military trucks. There was too much security. They were obviously hiding something. I couldn't clearly see what they were loading, so I got closer. Turns out, I got too close. Next thing you know, I was surrounded by a bunch of pricks aiming rifles at my head. Did you at least manage to see what they were loading? Sure did, but I was disappointed. What did you see? Concrete. Concrete? Are you kidding? Two huge rectangular concrete blocks. Each could barely fit into a truck. You were imprisoned for a piece of concrete? Fuck, man. I'd be disappointed too. Too much security for something so mundane. But enough about me. You should get back to your escape, my friend. Alors, euh, je le dis tout net, hein, euh, j'utilise pas le flingue. On a fait la promesse de ne de, de, de pas tuer les gens. On tue pas les gens. Hey, a coin. Ça va ça. Oh là là, j'ai eu le carton. Avait le carton. Alors, allonge. Appuie sur B pour frapper un ennemi, une caisse à quelques mètres de distance, vous rapprochant instantanément. Réduit de moitié le temps entre les roulades. Euh, je veux pas te laisser dans le couloir, on va te mettre là-bas avec, euh, avec ton copain. Tiens, je vais te poser là. De garde. défoncerai au retour. Ah ah, nouveau document. The second file of Operation Jericho was a compendium of coded numbers. It also had a map, so those numbers could be the coordinates of attack routes, or potentially the attack targets themselves. The first file was about an attack plan. Its code name was Operation Jericho. I couldn't find many details because it was encoded, but anyone could understand a chart about casualties. Its lines went all the way to the top. Allez. 
Before leaving the office, I called Harris to let him know that I found the files. Colonel, do you copy? Copy. I, wish you I found more documents. They look like... a list of coordinates. Coordinates? Of what? This document is encoded as well. I don't know what the coordinates are for. Huh. They could be strike targets. Those bastards could be planning to attack us. C'est des balles que j'ai trouvé, c'est pas du carton. C'était des balles. Oh, de toute façon, il n'y a personne qui vient ici. Allez, on continue. This is Jesse Fox. Over. This is the doctor. Over. Doctor? But how? How is the escape going? Just fine. Trying to find a way out of this building. Well, my access card won't work. It's only clearance level 2. Leaving the building requires level 3 clearance. Where would I find that? The officers would have them. Their offices are on the third floor. Wow. Thanks for the help. I didn't know you cared about me. What I care about is that you leave ASAP so I stop getting so many patients. By the way... What's your name? My name is Doctor, over and out. Ah, c'est un ascenseur. Donc je peux monter. Ok, je peux monter. Ah oui, on est au 1. Il y en a 2. Je peux monter encore, d'accord. Colonel? Fox, do you have what you need to leave? Not yet, Colonel. But a contact told me where to find an access card. A contact? Yes, a doctor. A doctor? Give me a description. She is smoking hot. Oh, for God's sake, control your hormones, son. We're in the middle of a very serious operation. Listen, Colonel, make no mistake. I'm not in any operation of yours. Nor am I any of your soldiers. I'm only trying to escape from this damn place. Damn it, Jess! Don't you realize this is an escape, son? You must realize Operation Jericho could end up with countless casualties. And it's your moral duty as a citizen to prevent it. Prevent it? Me? Is that a joke? Yes, you! Search every damn office in that building for any information you can prevent. That damn plan. Over and out. Okay. Un drone Ah, ah merde, il m'a vu Il va tirer dessus Diagonale, l'enfoiré.
sais pas pourquoi je passe par là, il y a du drone. Ah, je m'en doutais. C'est obligé. Je faisais des bêtises. Du coup, je vais aller sur la gauche. J'ai pas la carte. Super. Allez, de toute façon, on va bientôt s'arrêter. On va continuer encore un petit peu, mais je vais bientôt m'arrêter. Vous savez quoi On va prendre le gun. Ce sera pour les... Vous savez quoi On va attendre un peu que le, la vie revienne. Allez. Remets-toi la vie, remets-toi. Pour l'instant, je sais pas pour vous, mais moi j'adore ce jeu. Il me fait penser vraiment à les décors, machin, mais ça me fait vraiment penser à Metal Gear. Mais euh, l'humour, euh, l'humour dedans est ouf, quoi. I noticed a few abandoned crates that were thirsty for some punch. They seemed easy to reach. That is, until the containers started to drop. I noticed a few ab Megadron. I noticed a few a bit.
Ok, je peux tirer plus, je peux tirer plus de fois. Est-ce que je peux rester appuyé Ah merde. Ok, j'ai compris. Vu qu'il va nous mettre toutes les caisses. Euh... I noticed a few abandoned crates that. Ah non, j'ai roulé. J'avais plus de roulés. Bon, c'est pas grave. Allez, on recommence. I noticed a few abandoned. J'étais trop gourmand. Mais la technique est bonne. I noticed a few a bit. Boss defeated. This is Jesse Fox. Over. Doctor here. Hey Jesse, I need a small favor. Uh, favor? Of course. The guards you injured on the first floor just keep coming in. Can you find a less vicious way to handle them? Not that I care, per se, but I'm getting a little overwhelmed here. Oh. Sorry, Doc. You can count on me. You're drooling. Uh... What? Oh, sorry. Her voice was so damn sexy. Is my voice not feminine enough for you? Well, it's girly, of course, but... Oh, shut up. Continue your story. Comment je vais faire pour les, les défoncer, mais euh, sans, sans les blesser Dommage que la Combinaison anti-quoi anti Combinaison anti-thermique. Une combinaison brillante, délicate et fragile utilisée pour les travaux liés à la chaleur. I climbed down into a pokey little room that seemed to be stocked with a lot of chemicals. I could brew up some chloroform to put the guards to sleep and score points with the doctor. Hold on, you have expertise in chemistry? Chemistry's not that hard. You just have to mix the ingredients correctly. De l'eau, du sodium. Before leaving, I mixed the elements to create chloroform. Hello. Du sodium. Ah 
D'accord. Du coup, du. Faut pas dire ça. Forme, du clo chloroforme, bah voilà, chloroforme. <rire> Là, ça forme du sel, du sodium. Bah, je n'ai peut-être pas besoin du sodium parce que le sodium et de l'eau ça fait exploser. Hein. Euh, chloroforme possède une odeur euh, hein, hein, encourdissante. Trouver une méthode non violente contre les gardes. Par contre, euh... ah, Faut que je fasse ça. A guard with his back turned was listening to music. It was the perfect chance to test out the chloroform. I just needed to sneak up. And put him to sleep. Ah oui, mais il faut que je fasse ça, non? Mouchoir, chloroforme. Il y a un mouchoir de chloroforme. RT. Alors, déplacer un garde pendant que vous l'endormez. D'accord. Donc maintenant, j'ai du chloroforme. Ah, vous savez quoi Du coup, je vais faire ça. Euh, non, pas ça. Attends, qu'est-ce qu'ils disent là Effectue une sauvegarde rapide de votre partie actuelle, mais elle, ne s elle, s mais elle sera perdue si vous quittez le jeu. Ah merde De toute façon, ça va sauvegarder ici. Donc du coup, euh, monsieur dame, je vais m'arrêter ici pour aujourd'hui. Euh, J'espère que ça vous a plu. Ah oui, mission... Statue. Ça c'est mes améliorations. D'accord. Et puis les, les succès. D'accord. Donc j'espère que ça vous a plu. Euh... Moi j'aime beaucoup. J'ai hâte d'y rejouer. Euh... Samedi prochain. Samedi prochain, je vais, je vais continuer. Donc du coup. Euh... Je vous dis, on se voit très bientôt euh, pour un prochain épisode. Prenez soin de vous. Et à ciao les amis.